Miles Garrett has interestingly been one of the more polarizing figures this season, mostly due to the fact that what makes him so great does not always show up in the box score at the end of games. He still does have many games where it does show up in the box score, like most recently against the Bengals, where he recorded one and a half sacks and was exceptional at getting to the quarterback and creating pressure throughout the entirety of the game. He continues to have one of the highest double team rates in the league, yet has still managed to record 7.5 sacks so far this season, just one sack behind the league leader. The Browns' defense has been pretty disappointing for the majority of the season up until it really all came together against the Bengals. I think sometimes when things are going poorly, it's an easy excuse for fans to call out the star players. While I do think it is important for the leaders on the team to take accountability for poor play, the issues that the Browns were having on that side of the ball had nothing to do with Miles Garrett not doing his job. Against the Bengals, other guys really started to step up, including the new guy, Deion Jones, the rookie, Isaiah Thomas, and Sion Takitaki, who had one of the best games of his career. When other guys start to do their jobs well, it is much easier for Miles Garrett to be great. With Miles getting doubled more than anyone else, he still has the second highest pass rush win rate amongst all edge defenders, only trailing Micah Parsons. Here's an example of something Miles has regularly been doing. Against the Ravens, you can see his explosiveness as he was able to beat his blocker and get to Lamar Jackson for the sack. On this play, you can see him beat both the blocker and the chip with an incredible spin move to get to Joe Burrow and make the play. If Miles keeps this up, he is making himself a pretty good case for Defensive Player of the Year.